Hey everyone, Trey Mc here from Magnet, and today I want to show how Axiom Cyber can quickly connect and acquire data from Apple's latest MacBook Air powered by the new Apple Silicon M1 chip. Today, instead of walking through the creation of the agent like we have in previous videos, which I recommend checking out over on our YouTube channel or over on our website at magnetforensics.com, I'm going to use the agent dashboard to reconnect to the agent that I previously installed and that I know is running on the endpoint investigation. So within Axiom Cyber, I'm going to go ahead and head over to Evidence Sources remote computer and here we have the agent dashboard this dashboard is definitely nice to have in cases where you may need to pivot to work on another higher priority case that just came in or if uh, the endpoint drop connection because the user may close the lid of the laptop for the weekend and you have other work that needs to get done instead so instead of having to create a new agent I'm simply going to select the agent I know I previously deployed and hit connect so I'm going to scroll down I'm going to go down to the agent m1 Mac and just go ahead and hit connect to agent and simply just hit one more time, connect to agent again. Now you can see that we have quickly and successfully connected to Dante's MacBook Air with the M1 chip. We are running as root. And what's important here is I want you to see on the screen uh, from the M1 Mac, the agent being deployed, as well as, you know, there's no prompts, there's no warnings for the user. This is completely covert. I've simply just designated that Axiom Cyber, when I deployed this agent, put this at the root of Dante's home folder, but you can absolutely put this anywhere you want. So you can, you know, dig into a few different folders and, you know, select an area that, you know, the user probably wouldn't be digging around in uh, to keep this completely covert. But that being said, from here, I can go ahead and navigate into our targeted locations. I'm going to go ahead and for this I can select, you know what, I want their desktop items. I want to go ahead and potentially grab the daily out. Maybe go ahead and grab the quarantine files as well. So from here I can simply select next. As you can see we are downloading these items and once these are downloaded we are going to package these evidence files into the AFF4L format that I have selected and as you can see this is where uh, I've got that designated here and we'll pick right back up once we get this data downloaded and ingested and processed and take a look at it inside of Axiom Cyber Examine. Now that we've downloaded Dante's MacBook Air data that we need for this investigation, I'm going to simply navigate from my case dashboard on over to the artifact view. And we just grabbed a couple artifacts from here, but just to highlight what we can do here, if I click on pictures, you can see we did grab a picture. As you can see as well, we do have all the XF data that was associated with that image. And here you can see this is a GFX 50R. We have the camera serial number, the you know lens serial number, the lens model that took this image. We can go on down. We also grab an Excel document. We get a quick preview within Axiom Cyber that we can preview. We get all the basic information here as well about this file. Moving on down to operating system, we can see we have things like the daily logs. So we have the disk status of what's going on, maybe what was you know, uh, plugged in and mounted onto this endpoint. We can also see we have the local system status that will show the uptime uh, information as well as things like the number of logged in users uh, for this device along with the daily logs for the network interface status. We can see, once again, the networks, the addresses, the incoming and outgoing packets from this endpoint. And then lastly, when we navigate down, we can go into the quarantine files and, you know, the quarantine events v2 database, definitely one of my favorite places to look for data within, uh, you know, the Mac OS file system to see potentially what's been downloaded, maybe to identify where those files came from as well. But here we can see we've got several from Safari and Google, and we have the quarantine file identifier that we can kind of cross-reference with the extended attributes of these files and we also have the download url of these and what's great is if you expand these out you can see here now we can see a file name very quickly you know of a 23477jpeg we also as we're looking through here you can get an idea just by looking at some more of these that this looks like another photo that's associated with that and then we can also get the origin so it looks like some of these were downloaded from a sharepoint site some from potentially google as well as uh, we've got a couple here from Dropbox. And as you can see, we quickly created an agent, deployed the agent, reconnected back to that agent that was running on the latest MacBook Air with the M1 chip, also running macOS Big Sur, which is version 11. Thanks, have a great day.